The weather might get a little spicy later on today. We've got a <laughs> chance for some strong storms later on tonight. Uh, severe risk coming later than it normally does, and we'll tackle that in just a moment. Uh, above normal highs, a uh, very warm day today, and a really a nice day today before our rain chances increase after dark tonight. Uh, cloudy, cooler weekend with some spotty showers in the forecast for tomorrow, and then rain chances for Saturday looking even, uh, uh, even Friday looking a little spotty before we start to see a few sprinkles returning for Saturday. Uh, area low pressure carrying through is just carrying the rain away from us, at least initially. Still have a mild breeze coming in and south of the front is where things are looking pretty unstable. Also to the west, this front is also one of two things that will be kind of players uh, in the storm chances across the south again today. South expecting to get hit pretty hard once again. This line of storms will be our primary rainmaker going into tonight, but we'll start to see some storms ahead of that front uh, developing over Georgia. Already a few sprinkles. Cooler air uh, from this low kind of drags through the Midwestern states and into the mid-Atlantic over the weekend that could bring some clouds and rain our way. Uh, lots of tornadoes reported, about 30 give or take uh, reported yesterday. Uh, several long track tornadoes in Mississippi over Georgia and several more over over South Carolina. Fortunately, it was to our south. We got through very little damage as some high gusts occasionally that gusts up to 40 in the triad. After the rain came through, more wind gusts than hail reports, but we had a few of those too, some the size of ping pong balls. And more recently, we've had some hail from these storms approaching the Memphis uh, area. You can see as we go through the day and temperatures heat up, we'll increase the risk. Now, the highest risk is going to be south and west of us, but the slight risk or level two risk does linger into our western counties. Now, the storms are not expected to move in until later tonight, and they should fade as they come through, but still, even the triad as a risk for a rotating thunder storm or even some wind damage from this and I can't rule out an isolated tornado either, especially over our western counties, but it looks like that greater threat for that's going to be far south. Lower risk for flooding for tornadoes. We're pretty dry at the moment with temperatures uh, in the mid to upper 50s this morning, just creeping down into the upper 40s across North Wilkesboro uh, right now. Temperatures soaring to near 80 degrees today with more sun than clouds early, increasing clouds and then a rain chance comes later tonight. More of a thunder threat in the foothills by 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, uh, increasing clouds and a high of around 75 to 77 later today, and even lower 70s for the mountains where rain is more likely during the middle part of the evening. Just to kind of give you an idea of the timing, our best window for rain is west of around 8 p.m. and then overnight for the Piedmont Triad. That's our window for severe weather. We'll still have some rain around early tomorrow, and it will be a little bit on the gusty side of things, and likely rain Thursday through about early afternoon. Chance of a lingering shower Friday, and look how much cooler it is over the weekend. Thank you.